Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. It's Anita Gosal here, your liberation coach. And we are talking today about how to get untrapped. I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. Let me know if you're here. I also want to check on my phone that we are live, both here and on my group, because at the moment I'm doing things here, because I want to spread the message wider in the times we're facing right now. So um, if you're not on my group, you can go to the visit group above and join it. But for now, let me just check that it is beaming into my group as well so they can get this amazing value that we're going to do today. Say hello. Where are you coming in from? I'm in Singapore. What's the weather like? It's been raining here. Looks like it stopped, actually. So let me see if I'm live. So I'm live to my page. Wonderful, and I just want to check, bear with me, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so patient. I just want to make sure that it's gone live to my group as well, and it has. Okay, beautiful. So let's jump in. So today I am sharing with you how to, how to get untrap yourself. I have my notes here, and I might just put them here. Would that be easier to look at? I don't know. Hmm, where do I want them? Maybe here. Maybe here, maybe right here. Like, actually, if you don't know who I am, um, I am Anita Gosal. I help women to get untrapped, unstuck from anything that is keeping them in a place of feeling like they're stuck, in a place of feeling like they're trapped in any area of their lives to be liberated through something called the Freedom Code. Um, and you're going to find out a little bit more about that today. So I'm the pioneer of that. Um, who do I do it for? Really, um, women that are really looking to go on a self-discovery journey, build a relationship with themselves, to stop letting life just happen to them, to think that they have no control, and that everything that is happening to them is happening from the outside in, and there's nothing they can do about it. But for women that really want to take a, a load of self-responsibility, life after being a people pleaser, life after toxic situations, life after abusive relationships, life after divorce, um, life after the corporate world or in the corporate world so these are my kind of women that are big-hearted and with a conscious soul that want to become more and more conscious rather than just living life um, blind and blindly believing that everything's happening to us um, and we have no control over it okay it's not true so that's good news so that's who i am that's what i do um and now I'm going to dive straight into the train today. So please, I'm, my intention is for this to be potent, to give you huge shifts. Um, so please, 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 really allow yourself to be here. Give yourself permission. Get a pen, get a pad. If you haven't got one, don't worry. Don't go running all over the place. This replay will be up for a while. So you can come back to it um, or write notes in your phone. Although I would love you to put your phones or distractions away, shut the windows down, really be here so you can get everything for, um, from this, okay? Gift yourself this time. Okay, so what are we doing? As you can see, I'm excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you how to get untrapped, okay? And trap yourself in, um, in, um, in a graceful, soul-shaking um, way, right? Um, in these crazy times. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just straightening my eyebrows out here, just sorting my hair out. <laughs> okay, so it's time for, for you to know what is really making you feel trapped. What is that for you? What is making you feel trapped? And write it down. As I'm talking, please take notes. Please answer the questions. They're not just here for fun. They're really here for you to make that self-exploratory journey for you. So this is a training session. It's two-way. It's live. I'm here with you. I am going to shoot for the class. But if there is comments, I will either look at them after or at the end and answer any questions. And I might even come back for a live Q&A um, tomorrow. Okay, with those comments. Because... I didn't give much notice for this class because <laughs> that's me. I'm very impulsive. When I have something wonderful to bring to the world, I will just bring it. Uh, and that's what I've done today. So um, allow that to sink in and then give me all your comments. Give me a hashtag replay and I'll be looking at those comments. Okay. Um, so I'm super excited. So what is it that's really making you feel trapped? And no, it's not the lockdown. Okay. So don't go for the obvious. 
all right? Um, we'll learn more about that. And actually, I've been doing lots of lives to tell you more about that if you don't know. And why is this the perfect time? Whilst we're in this crisis, uh, I'll do that for a reason, to get untrapped and to live your actual truth. Why is this the time to really, uh, you know, do that for yourself? Why is now the time, okay? Um, gotta be careful that I don't press anything and turn it all off, that would not be good. Hi Patricia, say hello. Um, and what else? So how to feel untrapped even when we are in lockdown, okay? And how to identify what really matters right now because everything's quite overwhelming and quite compounding possibly. Um, and really take this time to look at what is working in my life and what is not working, yeah? During this crisis, take the time to do that. What is, write that down. What is working in my life? What is not working? And start to take notes. Um, and also be mindful. You may start to think, well, it's not working because of this crisis, because it's locked down, because of COVID-19. And I invite you to look at, well, was this not working before? And is it more exaggerated now? Or what was not working before that I would like to work after? Okay, because we have the opportunity to do that now in this kind of forced retreat where the majority of us are not actually ill, but we're doing our part by taking precaution and staying home, right? So we have an option um, to do something great right now um, and carry on the wonderful things that are happening that are bringing us together through this crisis as well, okay? So that's what I mean. And how can you optimize this time to make more movement than ever? More movement than ever, okay? And this is what I really wanna um, optimize with you, okay? Over the next four weeks particularly, and I'm gonna tell you more about that shortly. Um, so, okay, pre-warning <laughs> on language, the language I use, the verbiage I use. Um, I'm very straightforward, I'm very loving, I'm. I'm genuine, but I am to the point. But more than that, I believe there is something bigger. So sometimes I will talk about universe, spirit. I don't usually talk about God, but that's the same thing, okay? Whatever it is, I don't mind, but as long as you are in a space that you realize that there is something bigger, um, bigger than us, um, or, or and have an understanding of that, or at least want to have an understanding of that, and to explore what the hell that means, right? And utilize it um, in a big way for co-creation, okay? This is what we talk about, manifestation, universe, universal laws, for those of you that have heard about things like that, for those of you that may watch The Secret, or anything like that, okay? That's the kind of stuff that we're talking about here. Hi, Annie, say hello. Give me a love heart. Let me know how it is where you are. Okay. So if, if that has put you off already in terms of the language and the verbiage um, of, that I'm using, then this is not for you. And I say that with absolute love um, and you can leave the training, okay? Um, so I just wanna be clear about that because we want people here that are really wanting to do this. This is for women that want to understand the secrets that keep them stuck. So this is not stuff you already know or know to the depth of what I teach. Um, so it requires uh, the kind of woman that is open, um, curious, and wants to become more conscious about things, okay? Um, and realizes that there's definitely something else going on. Okay, there's definitely something bigger or fully believes in source. Hi, Carol, nice to see you. Carol's in our secret uh, workshop series as well. So if you're not in that, please join that. I'll pop the link in later, okay? Um, okay, so there's the pre-warnings out the way. I'm looking at my notes because I want to stay on track. So this is not for you either, maybe a few more pre-warnings. If you are in a blaming energy, and what I mean about that is that you're blaming everything outside of you, okay? Um, and you think that it's everyone else's fault, it's the situation's fault, there's nothing you can do about it, you have no choice, it's happening to you, um, and, and you're not able to do anything about it. Let me um, clarify that. It's okay if you're feeling like that. That is normal. Um, that is normal. Absolutely normal. But at the same time, 
there has to be a willingness to at least explore that there is something different going on here, okay? To explore how you can change it from the inside out, okay? Um, that you have control over that, all right? Um, and don't waste any more time just blaming outwardly. Does that make sense? Let me know, okay? Um, so if, you, if you're unwilling to look at that, to unwilling to look how you can resolve the situations, the difficulties in your life from the inside out, yeah, um, then this is not for you either. So you can, you can leave the training as well with love. I don't want to waste your time. And I really want to, you know, filter all my energy into the women that are open to this, or already realize this, but just don't know how to implement it and have it start happening and working for them, okay? Um, so, I don't like my notes here. I'm gonna put them here, okay? Usually I have them here, but today I thought, oh, I'll do it like that so I don't have to turn my head. But I hope you don't mind me turning your head. It, it gives you a chance to actually take some notes, okay? It gives you a chance to take some notes um, as well. So. Any other pre-warnings I want to give you? So not for the blaming energy, okay? Um, I don't have time for it, like I say, and I really want to keep my energy uh, for the women that are ready to take radical responsibility, self-responsibility, not trying to get the answers from the outside, but trying to get the answers from the inside. I don't care if you know what that means, that's okay, but if you're like, oh, that sounds good, then you're, you're very welcome here. And this is for women only okay <laughs> that's who i serve i just want to be completely clear about that too so even though um you may feel like crap um you are willing to learn or even though it feels like the outside circumstances are creating this you are willing to learn make sense give me a thumbs up give me a love heart if that's making sense okay and at the end of look of all of this today, I will have an offer for you, <laughs> okay, which I'm very excited about. This is brand new. It's a brand new offer, okay, in terms of what I'm doing with it. It's the best training I ever did. I'm pulling it together for the first time. And, you know, and it is with my personal support. And my intention is to really come from a place of love, to help you through these times and utilize these times, right? To really utilize these times um, and this precious moment in time to make it easy, okay? To make it easy for you to do this work that I'm talking about here, to untrap yourself, okay? To make that easy, to have you guided, facilitated. So if that triggers you, yeah, if that triggers you, me saying that, then get off the training now. Do yourself a favor or leave when I'm about to talk about that. That's also okay, right? Um, I'll see if I can share my screen at that point. I'm looking at Facebook now. It doesn't look like I can. So what I'm gonna do is at that point, I'm gonna end this live. This is gonna be part one and part two will come up immediately after and I will share with you what that is, okay? So just jump onto that part two to take a look. Um, at the awesomeness that is there for you, okay? Um, so most women women say, I know what I want. Yeah, I know what I want, but I don't know how to get there. Hands up if that's you. Yeah, hands up. Or I know where I am trapped in my life, but I don't know how to get untrapped. Hands up if that's you. And please do raise your hand. Please do give me some love hearts. Get involved. Or... I don't believe um, I, I can get untrapped. It's just the way things are. Hands up if you're in that camp. I've been in all of these, by the way. Okay. Um, so deep down, these women, yeah, they really want to honor their truth, who they really are, the real them, yeah. Um, have a deeper level of conversation, a deeper level of authenticity. Um, a deeper relationship with themselves, a deeper relationship with life, a deeper relationship with the relationships they're having, okay, um, and what they're doing in the world, okay? They're not really here for um, the chit-chat, right? The chit-chat, the mindless, the surface level chit-chat, the faking it, right? The faking it. Um, I want to get more real. So let me know if you're in that club. Deep down, they want to honor that, okay? Um, yet they have, I, they, they've got some idea or they've got no idea 
where to start, whether, um, and even if they want, if, if they don't even know if they want to start, right? And it might even be putting it off, but there's something that's going on because it maybe is scaring the shit out of them, okay? Or they're like, I'm doing this now. And that's the place you want to be able to get to if this is um, resonating with you right now, okay? Um, and that's why I'm encouraging you today, okay? Giving you this training on how to get untrapped. So listen up. If you truly, really know what you want and you don't know how to get there, if that is you, or if you don't know what you want, but you want to get there, right? You don't know what you want, but you want to get there or you just feel trapped or stuck uh, in any area of your life, or just even in yourself, okay? I want you now, invite you now, ask yourself this. What, what is really getting in the way of you and trapping yourself? What is really getting in the way of you and trapping yourself? Feel free to share as well. And, and what is getting in the way of you giving yourself permission? Permission. Yep, you have to give yourself permission. We don't get it from an outside source. What is getting, getting in the way of you giving yourself permission to do what it takes to get there? Okay? So what really gets in your way? This is time to get honest with you, right? <laughs> it's about having a, you know, a a really honest conversation with yourself and you're welcome to share it here as well okay but let's get really honest with ourselves because that's where the entrapping starts ladies that's where it starts okay and it is pure bliss and the more and more you do that the more vulnerable you become with that so at least start with you right you can trust yourself okay you can trust yourself you're allowed to have the conversation with yourself at the very least okay um, so it's not because you don't know what to do, or it's not because you don't know the how. Even though right now you might be thinking, it is because of that, I don't know what to do, and I don't know the how, and that's what's keeping me trapped, okay? So heads up, big myth buster, that is not it. That is not it. It's not big. The how is um, not the problem, okay? And I'll, I'll go more into that. It's because you have not yet gifted yourself, given yourself the permission to, to do it, to even have a look under the lid of who you are, to build that relationship with you, right? You haven't given yourself the opportunity to do that. And boy, does life get in the way because um, as the kind of women I work in, sometimes we work with, sorry, um, sometimes we can't even come up, we don't even feel like we can come up for air, right? I posted this video of the BBC uh, spoof clip on my personal profile. Go and have a look of this woman doing a, a clip of um, reading the news and the billion things that she's doing at the same, same time. It is hilarious, but it is painfully true. Yeah. If you want to know what it is, uh, just let me know and I'll, and I'll share the link with you here as well because it is hilarious. Okay. But it's also very true. Okay. So it's because you have not gifted yourself permission. Okay or you're looking for permission um, from the outside of you, okay? Whether that's for an outside situation for, to change, like the crisis to stop, or uh, more money to come in and then you will do it, or to get your husband's approval, or your children's, or when you have more time, um, all of that is looking for permission outside of yourself, okay? Or whatever that is for you, wherever you're seeking that permission, you're not getting it from yourself, and that's why you're not doing it, okay? There's no other reason, okay? And that's why it ain't happening, people, right? It ain't happening because of that, okay? Hi, Sabrina. Um, so it is not gonna happen, not because you don't know how, um and you don't know what it is and, not, and you don't know what it is that you want to get yourself untrapped and you don't know how that's not the reason it's because you're not even giving yourself permission to do it in the first place so you kind of have to go hold back take a step back i'm not even giving myself permission and this ain't happening until you value yourself girl okay there has to be a first step of valuing yourself okay and this is what i am committed to in liberate me 
is to liberate you, to entrap you, okay? Which just means to be yourself, okay? The art of being yourself and all the wonders that brings in the world, okay, for you, which are huge, okay, huge. You spend most of the time with yourself, right? So you better bloody enjoy that relationship, okay? So these are some questions I'd like you to write down and answer for yourself right now and feel free to share should you, should you wish. What would it take for you to give yourself permission? Deep breath. And write down whatever comes up. It might be the weirdest shit, yeah? It would take um, losing my job. It would take um, getting ill. It would just take me to say, yes, right now. I can just do this right now. I can just choose. It would take me, you know, having to get out of my own bloody way. No one is stopping me, right? So what would it take for you to give permission to yourself. I'm gonna take a sip of water. And why are you not giving yourself permission? Deep breath and just write down whatever comes up. Okay, because it's that usual immediate answer that is the truth and is coming from deep within you, from, from a soul place, okay, from a higher place. And it's like, well, you're not giving yourself permission because you don't think you're worthy. You're not giving yourself permission because um, you don't think you deserve it. You're not giving yourself permission because you don't really believe in yourself. You're not giving your position, yourself permission <laughs> because you think something will go wrong and it won't work for you. Okay? So whatever it is for you, those are just examples that I just came up with randomly. But whatever comes up for you and it needs to come from you. Okay? Whatever that is for you. Um, next question, what is it that you are afraid of? Okay, what is it that you are really afraid of? And I've talked about fear in a lot of previous lives that I've been doing recently, so I go back to that. Okay, what is it that you're afraid of? But it's important to acknowledge that, okay? I'm afraid that my husband won't like it, won't support me. I'm afraid that people won't like me. I'm afraid I will get very successful. Um, I'm afraid that it's selfish to do this. Um, I'm afraid that it's self-indulgent. I'm afraid that I will be rejected. Um, I'm afraid that I'm not vulnerable enough. I'm afraid that it won't work for me. I'm afraid that there's something wrong with me and I'm different to everyone else. You're not, by the way, right? <laughs> right? So, um, and then look at all those fears. And the next question for each of those fears is, hold on, is that really true? Deep breath again, right? Because you want to go inwards, Downwards is where your soul is, not upwards to the head, the ego, the wounds. Um, downwards, not to your conditioning, okay, to your, to your truth. Just slowly awakening that. Is it really true? Yeah, because fears are usually false evidence appearing real, false beliefs that we have about ourselves and our abilities, okay? So know that immediately. And then if you're really still struggling with that, take the question a little bit further. Dive a little bit deeper and ask, okay, so what's the evidence for this fear? What, what backs it up? And what doesn't back it up? What's, what's against this? What's the evidence against this, okay? And do that exercise. Do that exercise while we speak. Uh, and we will talk about it, okay? And, you know, you can argue with me as much as you like. <laughs> I don't mind, okay? But, no, seriously, the only reason women get trapped, get stuck, lose themselves, um, get trapped in situations, feelings, relationships, toxic situations, toxic work situations, repeated patterns, Groundhog Day, um, all of that, okay? Um, Self-sabotaging behavior, not liking themselves, feeling like a fake, a fraud, um, trapped in settling, trapped in pleasing, trapped in freeing themselves, you know, doing so much, you know, going well over the top, right? So, um, stuck and trapped in pretending, yeah? Putting that act on, putting masks on, right? The reason why, and let me say this right now, I just wanna be really straight, so brace yourselves, okay? Ladies, faking it is dead. It's dead, it's dying, okay, which is a good thing. So now it is time to find the real you, which is great news. I'm excited about it. So we go back into this new world after this um, episode on the global pandemic as ourselves. So there I said it.
Baking it is dead. You don't have to do it anymore. Right? It's okay to be you. Take, I mean, take a sigh of relief. Seriously, it's about time. So it really is, ladies. It's time. It really is time. So stop living in deprivation. Um, stop playing small, right? Um, and not embracing the fullness of who you are, okay? Um, and this is how you get untrapped, by stopping these things, okay? By stopping faking it on every level, okay? Being one person to everybody in your life, not 60 different versions of yourself, okay? And this is how you get liberated. This is how you feel comfortable in your own skin, which was absolutely mind-blowing for me when I got to that point in life, okay? Um, this is where you feel a natural confidence, a graceful confidence. This is where you are able to start crafting and designing your life, okay? The next year, the next four years, the next five years, the next 10 years, whatever you want, okay? Uh, or even the next week, depending what who you are and what you like, okay? Because everybody's different. But you get to craft and design it, ladies, okay? Uh, and experience it in that way and co-create it with a bigger source, okay? Universe, spirit, and co-creation. How to do that, how to attract experiences um, that have what you want happen without you having to push, 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 and work, work, work for it, okay? Um, so the solution is not knowing more of the how, like I said, because you're like, well, I don't know how. That's not it. Okay, to recap, it is giving yourself permission, okay, and knowing, faking it is dead, okay? And it's time to find the real you and live the real you. And from that place, when we activate your you <laughs> from your um, authentic self, that's when you can start to craft and design and co-create um, the life that you want. So you stop just letting life happen to you, right? Because that's shit. And you start to actually create it. You, you become a conscious curator of your life, because you are. You're creating it anyway. Whether you realize it or not, that's what you've been doing all along. So all we're doing is flip turning that. We're just bringing your attention to that, and your awareness to that, so you can hone it, right? Which is pretty powerful stuff, okay? So the solution is not knowing more of the how, uh, and trying to find the logical reasoning of the how, 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 how. Because if you never give yourself permission um, to be who you are and to stop faking it and get real and go on that inner journey, take those first few steps, then the how is going to be short-lived, okay? Those results are going to be short-lived. I'll talk a little bit more about what I mean about that. Um, feel free to let me have your questions as well. Um, so... So the reason we're not moving forward as women is because of what? Anxiety, right? We're stuck in anxiety. Who's stuck in anxiety or fear? Who's stuck in fear? And particularly anxiety and fear right now with what's going on uh, in the world as we're, you know, everything's being distracted on such a global scale. Um, you know, it's almost like a natural feeling that's flown around us, particularly if you're an empath like me and many of the clients I work with and many of the women are, ah, because like attracts like. Okay, um, so, or what stops women as well is they don't know what they want, and that shouldn't stop you, right? That's not the point, right? That's not what we need to know at this point. It's just giving yourself permission to go on the freaking journey. Take the first step, okay? They don't want to face what lies within. So some women have that problem, or challenge, not really problem. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of us. We've all got these things going on. It's about taking the journey. So it's um, so they so women just push it down instead. I used to do that. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. Right? For, try to just forget about it. Pretend it doesn't exist. It will come up. Okay? Um, and and it's not good. It is a problem to do that. It will explode in some way. Whether it explode internally and create health problems for you, weight problems for shitting yourself, lethargic, or external problems. Okay? Actual sh attracting shit. Shit relationships. Shit toxic things, just shit, right? Because sadly, when we're carrying um, these wounds and this anxious energy, anxiety and fear, we attract from that, whether we want to or not. So we've got to get rid of it, and you can. There is a way to do that, okay? 
And that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. That is how we untrap ourselves. We think we've got no choice. We have. At the moment, you're being an unconscious creator from anxiety and fear and all those feelings. And you're creating what you're creating. Have a look around you, right? Um, and what we're going to do is make you a conscious creator without anxiety, without fear. Okay? And the ability to create and craft and design your life. That's the outcome we're going to have, okay, by the end of this. So you know who you are, what you value, right, what you want, and how to get it, and actually have it. You have for it to actually uh, manifest. So get specific on what you want. Some women won't even give themselves a permission, right, to even allow themselves to answer the question, well, what do I want, right? And so allow yourself to do that. Allow yourself to do that, okay? So... What else did I want to say? I'm going off into a rant as ever, so let me look at my notes. So uh, other reasons that women don't take this step is because they don't believe in themselves. But of course you don't believe in yourselves. That's why you need to take this step, because you've got the root wounds and the conditioning going on. So that's not a reason not to take this step, okay? Um, they don't believe in themselves, so they don't think anything can change. That's the reason to take this step, right? So it's not the how, yeah? It's about giving yourself permission to take the step and go on this journey, okay? So we can bust all those things out. So, or women are just not brave enough, just not being brave enough, right? And just not being courageous enough um, to take that first step. And it's only a step. And let me tell you, you know, every step I've taken when I've been in fear, I grow. You are here to grow. You're not here to just stay in fear and stay trapped. And then that's the best things get. No, it's here for your growth, okay? Um, and all oh, many women are, are fearing if they take these steps because they don't know what's on the other side. They fear it's going to upset someone, someone they love or people they love or the community or the tribe or they will lose people or they will be rejected. Even if you're not conscious of this on a conscious level, it's what's going on beneath, okay? It's what keeps you trapped, okay? So bring your awareness to that okay bring it bring your awareness to that um and they're afraid of that rejection i mean it's one of the biggest fears next to public speaking would you believe some people would rather not public speak and they would, or they would rather die right that's another thing anyway i got a point um so they want they don't want to be rejected from the tribe right um so there's real fear there right that feels real it's not real we know fear is false right but it, the feelings are real it's the stuff that keeps us really really trapped okay so who cares right seriously guys ladies you live with yourself 24 hours a day right you require to like you first you require to value you first okay um you require to love you first okay and trust me without this no one can show you the level of love respect value um that you desire okay because you're asking something from someone else that you don't know how to give to yourself you don't even know who you are what you know what floats your boat you know what you enjoy all of that okay not fully even if you know a little bit okay i'm not saying you don't know at all it depends where you are okay but you get my drift okay it's a two-way process and it starts with you okay um, so another problem is that uh, many women have put on such a strong front for so long and have worked so hard, done like billions of degrees, um, lots of education, got so far in their career, and they're just scared of like changing that and like then that would be all of a waste and they just get stuck in that decision and then that denial that it's not okay. They can't break all of that. They can't do something completely different. Um, just take this first step, right? It's just about giving yourself permission to take the journey. And remember, you are in control, not me, not anyone else. You are. You do. Any clients that work with me, you know, you come to me, you tell me what you want. You put your order into me. I don't tell you what you want. It's what you want, okay? And I, no judgment. Whatever your situation, you want what you want, okay? And that's what you work towards, okay? So, there's, that fear is just not real, so we can chuck that out straight of, straight away. Making sense? Yeah? Let me know if it's making sense, guys. Are you with me? So, of, and of course, a big one, right? The fear of judgment, right? The fear of judgment and rejection are huge. And let me tell you, when people are judging you, and when you're judging others, there's something in them, actually, that 
you that is within you and that you have available to you too okay so that's an extra eye-opener for you okay i think i want to do a master class on that on my weekly master classes um so look out for that because that's a huge topic in itself but remember fears are false evidence appearing real repeat after me someone put it in the comments for me if you don't mind false evidence appearing real okay and they are false beliefs um that we have about ourselves and our abilities okay make sense and they come from the root wound your conditioning the false beliefs okay that came from that root wound and this is the point of what we do at liberate me is we release it right from the root so it doesn't repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat in your life okay so it can't attract to you all right not just from a surface level because that's why it's no point just knowing the how, right? Because you've got to get to the root. I can give you all the freaking how, but you've still got the root there. So we've got to get the root out the way, okay? Um, and, it, and it manifests as looking like anxiety and all the things I've just described, okay? So that's what we need to um, bust out to start with. So the illusion and the myth, um, and let's bust this out right now, right now, let's bust this myth to pieces. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you, darling. Let's bust this myth out right now, okay? The, and the myth is that I need to be someone other than who I am to get what I want to be happy, okay? So let me run that by you again. <laughs> is that you need to be someone other than you are to get what you want to be happy. Okay, this is the biggest lie going. Okay, and it's why most women are trapped at some level or are not fully happy, not living their full selves. Okay, um, hi Angela, this is why. Okay, so it's that false belief, it's quite the opposite, as most don't know why they are not fully themselves and they believe that i i need to be someone other than who i am to get what i want to be happy and what does that say that means that, that says i need to be a fake i need to be a fraud i need to pretend i can't be my real self i'm not lovable just the way i am right and i just said earlier it's over it's over faking it is over now is the time to find the real you okay as um confronting as that may be or not or exciting personally i think it's exciting um but wherever you are is okay wherever you are emotionally is okay as i as most don't know um who they are uh, and most women are running either fully from their root wound or partly from their conditioning and those false beliefs about themselves okay and so that's what we want to start shifting out so let alone knowing who they who they are they don't you know let alone knowing what they i hit that you know what they want what their life purpose is okay and what they're here to do and we can't get to that point until we know who you are if you skip that right it's gonna be painful guys it's gonna be painful i mean you've probably done that already skip that and gone whoop i thought that's what i wanted but it doesn't feel so great now but i do want it but i'm not enjoying it so how can I start to enjoy it? What's gone on? This is what's gone on, okay? And that's why, and it doesn't mean all is lost. It can be salvaged, okay? Or it can change. The choice is yours, right? Let's have a sip of water. Okay, so let that really go in, ladies, please. Let that really sink in. So we are very good at convincing ourselves that this is who I am, blah, 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 right? We really are. And it's the ego and the wound, actually, that is talking and is trying to keep you safe, okay? Um, it's trying to keep you safe, which is a nice thing to do, but it's like a primitive part of ourselves, okay? Um, but you know, deep down, it's not, right? It's not. Or there is more for you, right? You know that, right? You know that. That's the inner known. That's your truth. Um, and And... You're really here to reveal that, okay? Or the next layer of that. Yeah? Oh, it keeps cutting out. Hmm. 
I don't know why. I'm so sorry. So the internet is on full here. Let me know if you can all hear me okay. Thanks, Mylene. Thanks for letting me know, darling. Um, mm, not a lot I can do about it because the internet does look full. Let me press it. I hope I don't turn us off. It does look good. Um, it might be on your end, darling. Mary, Sabrina, Carol, Annie, um, Patricia, anyone that's here, let me know if you can hear me okay, please. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay. So, so we're really good at convincing ourselves of that. So most women, right, have little or no relationship with themselves, little to no relationship with themselves, no real connection to the truth of who they are, okay, or that which comes through their intuition, they don't even know that exists, I've been through this, I believed it, right, um, it can't be possible for me to be okay, and for me to continue as Anita, that can't be okay, and who is Anita anyway, right, I didn't even know who I was, because um, um, I disappeared, yeah, I had, you know, and trapping is not no more of the how, right? I kept trying to find the how. Maybe it's his job. Maybe it's traveling. Maybe it's his husband. Maybe it's his whatever, right? Um, or, or the what. It was knowing the truth of who I was was the most important thing. And then you can run your freaking life like the badass liberated warrior woman that you are. With grace. With grace. Okay? So let's slow down and back up here. The solution is not more of the how, okay, and the what. That will come, and you can create after and design that very quickly, okay? But first is knowing the truth of who you are, okay? Um, and it has to be heartfelt who you are, right? Then you know it's real, okay? It has to be authentic. The answers are all within you. My job is to um, bring those out of you, okay? In a beautiful, immersive way, okay? Um, from your truth, not mine, right? not mine okay and that's the beauty of this okay um but until you're in the driving seat okay you may as well be living someone else's life or as someone else seriously and that's what is happening and that's why it feels like you're trapped on some level even if you know you what you want even if you know what you want okay it's you being the woman that will do what it takes to get there, right? That takes action, okay? And do what it takes to also receive it, okay? All of what you desire. That This is what it takes to get untrapped, okay? And that's what's happening in the world right now. I've done lots of lives around this, so go back and look at those. I've talked about this a lot. The, the energy is pulling on us um, to become in a more of a oneness, okay? We're coming together everywhere with ourselves with each other with the world the environment has improved right because we are not superior to it right um with animals togetherness right rather than thinking we are superior right um than these species so to avoid us going back to separation right you versus me the faking it right you all know what i'm talking about right that feeling and thinking we are an island, um, and that loneliness and that pain that comes from that, um, no matter what you have on the surface, it still exists under the surface. Um, you know, all of this, this is what this is for. This is what this time is for. And I'm not trying to ignore the seriousness of what's going on here and the precautions that is necessary for us to take, but to ignore the challenge um, of that and what is given to us personally as women now, okay? Um, to all to all of us, okay? To bring some, to shine some light on that. So that's why we are here, having this experience, having this conversation, and you must find yourself. You must, now is the time, okay? Um, and, a, and it's such a compelling reason, right? With what, what the environment we're in right now, and the time that we have been given, this forced retreat that we have been given, Borrowed, a term borrowed from a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, um, by nature itself, right? We've been given this time. So now is the time. Or if you if you just want to put it off, you will push through and you will lose that authentic self more and more and more and more, okay? You won't even know who you are anymore. And that's what happened to me. 
So many women live with that lack of fulfillment and you don't need to, right? You don't need to, they waste their lives, right? What I see that there is um, at the moment is a heart, um, heartfelt rumbles, yeah, coming from women all over the world and conversations that want to come out because of what's happening now, right? That reflection time. You have to choose to go there. So it's about giving yourself permission of taking that first step. You, can, you can't pretend to go there, right? You have to choose to go there. Or the alternative is to numb out, right? Numb out yourself from that deeper conversation, that true connection with yourself, of finding out who you are, finding your voice, <laughs> okay? Or you can say, I can't, you know, I can't. With all this craziness that's going on in the world, I can't do this right now. Okay, and the stakes are high now, ladies. The stakes are high. The power is high right now with what's going on in the world universally from a source level, which means it's a great time for co-creation. Even if you don't know what that means, don't worry. You're in safe hands and I'll show you the way, okay? So the stakes are high. So ask yourself the question right now and write this down. Are you holding yourself back? Are you holding yourself back? I'm getting carried away here. We have some water. Are you holding yourself back? How are you numbing yourself? Yeah? You get to answer this. And why is this the perfect time? Why is this the perfect time to go to your next level? Answer it. You know, these aren't rhetorical questions. Answer these questions for yourself at the very least and share them here if you wish, or with me, or reach out to me if you want to talk to me. So why is this the perfect time? Okay, ask yourself, how do you entrap yourself when you doubt it, right? When you've got doubt, you've got self-doubt, you're like, oh, I don't think I can. Okay, so this is a big one, so I just want to address that as well. There is a false illusion that to entrap yourself that you won't be afraid, to that you won't be afraid. This is an illusion, it is a lie, um, or uh, what is also false is that you will never make a mistake uh, or that it's going to turn out exactly the way you want if you untrap yourself, okay? That is all bullshit, I'm afraid. I want to be really honest and up straight with you. That is bullshit. That's not how you get untrapped when you're feeling unafraid and that you're absolutely sure that you're not going to make a mistake and you're going to get 100% what you want no matter what, okay? That's not it. Um, then, you know, if it didn't work out that way, you're going to say, tell yourself, I did something wrong. It doesn't work that way. It's not that way. Okay, you may be saying like, Anita, what? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to do this and I'm not going to get what I want and I've got to do it while I'm afraid. Um, it's all part of the journey. It's because we see any, you know, um, blocks in the road as a problem when they're not a problem. They're actually part of the solution because everything is happening for us, not to us. Okay, so if I untrap myself, I won't feel afraid is... Bullshit. So forget that. You will feel afraid when you take your first step of <laughs> of untrapping yourself. Okay. Um, I know. I know what I want. That you know. That's rubbish. Do you're not. You don't need to know what you want to untrap yourself. Okay. That's not where it starts. And to think, well, I need to know nothing will go wrong, and then I'll take the step. That's also bullshit. That's not how you untrap yourself. Okay, as we saw, we cannot predict the future, guys. We None of us saw what's happening in the world right now. Don't try to predict the future. Just learn how to use the journey, okay? Use the journey. So this is not the case. You can still be afraid. And I'm giving you lots of permission here, right? Throwing it at you from, my, from myself, from my being to all of your beings. The most important thing is that you give yourself permission, okay? You can still be afraid and maybe not get what you want. Uh, and or, oh, which happens a lot with my clients, they're like, what the frick? I got even better than what I wanted, okay? Because we connect with a higher source when we go into the creation level of what we do, okay? And now um, this is all possible, but it's understanding that. So yes, it's not about attachment to the outcome, all right? Um, it's about knowing how to enjoy the highs and lows of life and knowing to get them how to work for you for you, and understanding why they're happening for you, not to you, okay? Um, so, whoa, 
It's powerful, this stuff, okay? You can see I get very passionate about it. So this, my ladies, is Fremont, okay? This is how you get untrapped. You know, what if trusting yourself um, was not reliant on you being afraid? What if untrapping yourself was not reliant on you not being afraid, okay? What if? Yep, and it, what if untrapping yourself was not reliant on you getting a specific result, okay? Okay, so they are not mutually exclusive is what I'm saying. So untrapping yourself comes from taking aligned action, ladies, that you are called to take regardless of the outcome. Yes, <laughs> you, we are going to get outcomes, don't get me wrong, okay? Or, but, or anyone's approval. Okay, even if it scares the bejesus out of you. In fact, it should. That's great. That's exactly when you should be taking the first step. Okay, um, even when you're afraid of moving into the direction um, you feel cool to, this is what builds liberation. This is what builds that untrapping, that freedom, that unleashing feeling. Okay, and that's when you get the how and what you want and the creating and designing your life, okay, from that vantage point, okay, too many people are skipping, skipping those phases, um, and the ability to create, create that from a higher source and power, okay, it's not if someone says I can entrap myself that I will get it 100% right, okay, straight away, no, <laughs> that's not what it's about, liberation happens when you when you don't wait, okay? When you dive into the unknown uh, and you you trust that, or you don't trust that, but you do it anyway, okay? And I'm going to invite you into that release right now. You don't need all those things in place to take the first step. I certainly did not. So stop being attached to the outcome, stop being attached to not being afraid before you take a step. And trust me, when you do that, the journey is exquisite. It is exquisite right and if you are if you're if you if you, if not if you're not willing to do that which i already said at the beginning so you shouldn't even be here right right with love or for you this is really for then you will be waiting forever you will i'm losing my voice you will be waiting forever okay and i know um that's hard right and you, it may be that you're like but i'm shit scared anita that's okay Everybody's shit scared, right? That's what divides us. Those that are shit scared and I'm taking a step, those are the people that get untrapped, right? Those are the people that get liberated, get authentically from their real selves, uh, and everything else falls into place, okay? Um, otherwise, it's a lose-lose, guys. Lose-lose, okay? Uh, and the opposite is a win-win, right? We all want to be winning. You'll be waiting forever. So maybe... You make a little bit of movement into a guaranteed result if you concentrate on the how and the what and forget about actually giving yourself permission to know who you actually are, the truth of you before you do that. Um, and you know what? You may guess you won't get some results. I'm not saying you won't from doing that, um, but it might be short lived or just not feel like it's enough. It's still not quite there, which is frustrating as hell. Trust me, I've done it a thousand times and doesn't quite hit the spot. Making sense? So you're left feeling somewhat empty inside or like you did something wrong, okay? So that doesn't fully untrap yourself. It goes part of the way, but not fully. So ask yourself now, which decisions really matter to you right now? What is available for me right now? Okay, this is huge. And I've had clients saying, you know, I hate my job. I don't want to do it anymore. And oh my gosh, that's huge. Just realizing that, okay? So have a look. This is a level of conversation um, with yourself. And I've had clients or potential clients or community members saying, you know what? I need to have a conversation with my husband. Things need to change. Boom, okay? I love him, but I can't go on like this. Or I, I want to attract love. I'm repelling it. And I actually do want it. Whoa, right? I'm fed up with the excuses I'm making, but because I do really want it. Right, so it's really understanding what that is for yourself at the moment. Or the conversation with yourself. Who am I being? Am I in line with my values? Do I even know what my values were? I didn't. It was shocking when I found out, to be honest. I mean, it was liberating. <laughs> it's scary, but um, amazing, right? Uh, 
amazing. It's not always easy, but it's always amazing, right? Um, and I felt I had to stay the way I was, but I wanted more, right? But I didn't know what I wanted or what I even valued. So this is what might be going on, okay? So, oh my gosh, the opportunity right now is absolutely freaking huge, okay? To do all of this. It's true. How? First of all, let's breathe, because I need to breathe. <laughs> That's been a mammoth, right? So what matters to you right now? Ask yourself. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. What matters to me right now? This is a big passion. What is not serving me right now? Write it down. What is not serving me? Allow yourself. Give yourself permission. Even share it. I'm investing in you to answer, okay? And feel that. Be compassionate as you do, okay? You don't have to do anything about it right now. It's just first step, okay? And I know even as we do this, as we're doing these exercises together, as we're being here today, there are higher powers and source that are listening in and are already shifting to have your desires come forward, okay? I'm just gonna pour myself some water here. What is not serving you right now? Okay, what is not working for you right now? In this crisis, before the crisis, um, what may not work after? What may you be going back to that you might be dreading or just hoping it's gonna be better by some miraculous thing? It's not going to be. We have to lead that. Um, and I had to be so aware of this myself as a leader and have this calling in me to rise as well. Um, um, what we can do as, we, as women is go into saving and into overwhelm uh, and use this time to go into distraction, which is numbing that I talked about earlier, um, to not have that deeper conversation with our, ourselves, uh, go into saving other people, being the go-to person for everyone. This is all numbing. Continue to focus on you know what's not working but doing nothing about it. Hiding in martyrdom. I know it's a key, but true or hiding and being a victim of your situation and not taking control, instead of going to massive self-care at this time, um, and that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to massive self-care too, so I'm gonna be going on a rising too through this time, and really come back to that myself, right, as well. And I invite you to really join me on this, okay? And I'm not saying we don't care for anyone else, okay? That's not what I'm saying, but it starts with you. Okay, your cup must be overflowing, okay, before you can truly give to others from love. Otherwise, it's, it can be from resent, okay? And we want to watch that energy seeping in. It happens to all of us. So stop stopping everything and just waiting, stopping spending, you know, going into, um, what do you call it, like, um, you know, contracting, contracting in this time, then you just have to wait will stop the flow of everything right now and what this time is for. Um, so stop that. <laughs> don't, you don't have to do that, okay? Let go of it and allow yourself. So I want you to do something right at this time that I've never done before. So you can use this time um, and the power that it has um, for you. So I, you know, I got an update from one of my um, clients that a woman that was, you know, really emotional, and she was sharing with me how much her life has changed since she allowed herself to have that deeper conversation with herself, okay? And it's incredible. Um, and here's, and here's, here's what it is, right? Here's how to get it. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? If I wanted to trust myself, if I wanted to untrap myself, like when I, when I was trapped, fully in my life, when I was not liberated, what did I need to do? What steps did I need to take? Um, what did I need to be? What did I need to enjoy? Um, and how what, How did I need to do that to create that? If that makes any sense, okay? That's what I've been thinking. Um, and that's what I've created for you, okay? Um, with live support from me, by the way, and it is going to blow your freaking mind to get rid of the fear, get rid of the anxiety, um, and put you into a crazy level of momentum in your life, um, and following through, so okay? I'm gonna flick to that now, so I'm gonna end this live, 
and I'm going to start a new live straight after and I'll take you through exactly what that is. So please come and join me on that live and please let me know one thing that um, at the very least let me know this helped me. Yes, this helped me. This live helped me, Anita. Um, if you don't want to say anything else. But it, if not, if you can say a bit more and say the biggest thing that you took away from this would also be really wonderful for me. That's all I ask. And so, um, Mylene, Angela, Mary, Sabrina, Carol, all of you guys here, whatever reason I can't see everyone, Annie, Patricia, <laughs> come over to the other live. Okay, so this is going to be part one and part two. But you're not going to see me in part two because I'm going to share my screen. It's just that I can't do that from here. And that's why we're moving over. I'll see you in two secs.